Hi, I'm Nicolas, and this is my sprint May 27th review for the um, for the engineering department here at Double GDP. So overall, we had a wonderful sprint. Um, we've done we've actually uh, pushed a lot of code. Um, so some of the great features uh, were password information for admin and a referral program for where um, existing clients can refer uh, prospective clients to. Uh, to the Enquishy uh, administration. We've also added a lot of backend code um, to keep track of SMS campaigns that we've been doing um, because we received a lot of interest from the Enquishy administ um, administration. So the relationship between Enquishy and WGDP has truly strengthened over the past two weeks, which resulted in a lot of um, in Double GDP sending a lot of SMSs to uh, either prospective clients or just clients in general. Um, we have also interviewed a wonderful uh, Rails engineer, and um, hopefully he uh, we will be able to uh, to hire him. Um, he still has a few interviews to uh, to go through, but uh, you know, stay tuned on that one. Um, while um, <laughs> While the interest, um, increased interest and activity, especially around communication, has been a phenomenal development, uh, the additional ad hoc uh, workload is actually starting to uh, affect our uh, feature planning ability a little. So, um, so for example, um, matching Enquish's SMS list because they fed us a lot of um, a lot of lists. They said, "Hey, can you email the uh, customers on this list?" Um, matching their list to what is in our database has been uh, quite challenging at times and uh, to say that it's very time consuming. So uh, as a case in point, we had to actually refocus some of our effort. I was planning on adding GitLab to deployment, uh, but uh, the, the inquiry increased activity took uh, priority. So that has been moved to this upcoming sprint. Um, we also, um, and you know we're trying basically trying to remove a lot of the spreadsheet that Enquishy is using on a daily basis and actually move them to uh, more uh, move the process more towards um, uh, double GDP. So next print we're also looking at uh, serious um, serious permission on the rail rail side for uh, scalability. We're looking at the deployment. I already talked about that. Uh, we want to. Um, uh, we want to be able to build UI. Um, to offload the SMS uh, campaign management so that um, our um, C uh, CSMs, uh, Penny and Mutali can uh, send their own um, uh, SMS list and manage that whole process themselves. Um, also, um, I want to do an analysis on how to move to uh, GitLab for the sprint process and issue tracking so that we have everything under one roof. Um, as uh, for the engineering dashboard, um, uh, it's actually not bad at all. Um, we had um, basically the highlights are uh, we have uh, we continue to have uh, an increase in code coverage. So basically, we're now at 25.6 percent compared to 15 percent where we started. So um, on the on the React side, so we were here at about uh, 15 and now we're at about 25.54. Uh, nothing really has, has moved uh, significantly on the rail side, which basically we have increased from 51% to 57% uh, uh, for full coverage um, since, we, uh, since we started uh, keeping track. We, uh, we also, however, we did experience uh, a spike on worldwide issue, which is basically browser issues, um, exceptions. Um, so, um, we went from uh, 90 issues to um, to 69 issues. We're still monitoring. We're still trying to figure out um, uh, basically how to fix them. Some of them are very easy. Actually, none of them are, are, are easy because they may actually depend on uh, external package libraries for JavaScript. So that's that. Um, the merge request for engin engineer re um, remains really, really good. Um, as you can see here at the bottom, um, in this past um, uh, two, weeks, uh, two weeks ago, we were actually at uh, seven merge requests per week. Uh, and this week, we've already at, we're already at uh, four merge requests per engineer. So we are 
um, and there's you know another two days uh, out of the week, so I think we're at a pretty good clip. Um, well, I guess that's it. Thank you very much, and uh, see you next time.